survey is one of the many useful and amazing modules of BFN Fusion. A multi-dimensional tool, a bit like a Swiss army knife. Why? Watch this video and you'll know what I mean. Hello and welcome to a new video of How to BFN Fusion. My name's Annette and I'm joined today by Anders. Anders, tell me, what is Survey? Survey is a tool in BFN Fusion and it's a tool we made so you can get an overview of your entire production in one picture. You can use it to analyze your results and you can use it to analyze your ongoing batches. Wow, sounds like a Swiss army knife. <laughs> um, maybe you can break that down a bit and give us some examples. Yeah, I can, certainly can do that. Do you mind if we just go through some of the functions to begin with Please so do. You, you get an idea what it is? So here we have the, the survey as it looks in BFN Fusion. On the left side we have the filter section and on the top we have various tabs. I have set up three tabs in this picture. And in the big area we have the main area where all of your data is being displayed. It is possible to set up your own tabs if you aren't happy with the ones that comes with the application to begin with, you can configure your own. In the filter tab, you can go in and you can filter in the top one production type, which type of animals do you want to see? In this one, I have selected broilers. In the location tab, you can filter which locations you want to see. And I'll just show you what happens when I open the, the, the countries here. You can select from countries to section level. But in this case, I want to add Germany in my list, so I just add Germany here. It's really easy, actually. Click apply, and then you will see all the German farms uh, in the view here as well. If I collapse this one, I also have batch details. This is where you can select if you want to see only the active batches, or you also want to see the finished batches. The columns filter, that's where you can add different values or parameters from your production that you want to monitor or want to see here in the main data area. And the batch rules, this is where you can set up rules so uh, you can filter for various things that, that might be interesting to you. If you only want to see birds of a certain weight, you can set it up here. Okay, so basically that's how I decide, is it? Because for me, it looks like an easy uh, interface to use, but how would I know what to look at first? There's a lot of information. Yeah, there is definitely a lot of information. That's why it's such a versatile tool. The farmers themselves can decide what they want to look at, so what's important to one farmer might not be important for the other farmer, and vice versa. If you, uh, if you set it up uh, with multiple farms, like I just did, I, you can sort it here by clicking on the farm and then uh, clicking on the house. So now your farms and your houses are in the right order, so to say. It's sorted in the alphabetical order. Uh, that might not be... Uh, well, that might be useful in some cases, so you can see how far you have gotten. But you can also uh, sort by the value of the bird weight in this case, and you will have the heaviest birds on top. And uh, if uh, that is not interesting, you can also sort by reference, as, as you can see here. And you might have noticed the, the, the dots we have in the background. We have the green, yellow, red dots, and that tells you a little bit about how far you are deviating from the genetic reference of your in this case, it's broilers. So if I click on the sort by reference, you will see that I get the problematic ones on top. And if I scroll down, you will see I have the red, then yellow and green, and then it uh, becomes uh, more, more better and better as you approach the bottom. My goodness. Well, uh, the multifold of possibilities for the industry really does seem phenomenal to me. I'd love to carry on and find out more for you uh, from you in a future uh, video, if you'd be prepared to join me at a later date. Absolutely. I Perfect. love talking about the survey. <laughs> Thank you, Anders. Thank you for tuning into this video. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the Big Dutchman channel. Look forward to seeing you again.